update from Logan. It is January, January. It is June 30th. Um, we got out of the hospital after a surgery on the 20th. So he's been home for 10 days. He, this, just this last week, he was home. That week he was home. I think he got home. I can't remember. It was Monday or Tuesday. That week he stayed home. And then just this last week, um, he started. Let's see. He started. He started uh, physical therapy. I had a consultation on Tuesday. Wednesday, back down to U of M, the hospital where he had surgery. So the surgeon came look at him and he says everything's going and looking good. Um, then we had physical therapy on Thursday, which was yesterday, and today is Friday, June 30th. And now we're back in the hospital and we're starting the last half of chemotherapy. So I think he's got like got like seven or nine more sessions nine more sessions of chemotherapy after this will be eight so he's making headway towards the end um, so we got this chemotherapy then we're off for like two weeks maybe three weeks and then we go back and then we're in for two weekends straight so that's that kind of sucks, but what are you, you going to do? Get him out of the way. And uh, actually, Logan's been growing hair back because he's been off from like chemo for like five weeks. Just because, you know, you got to be nice and healthy before the surgery. The chemotherapy knocks your, all your counts down, your blood counts down, so it kind of doesn't help with the healing process. So this, like I said, he's been off for five weeks. This is his first chemo treatment in five weeks. He's getting it right now. It is, he's probably going to be getting it here in 15 minutes. I'm actually driving home from the hospital because we had, we're up. We went to the hospital, got there at like 9.30 this morning. Went through clinic, got his blood counts, his blood drawn. And uh, got up in the hospital, but... They're, they're busy on the floor, so it usually starts chemo at 6, 7 o'clock. It's going to be 8 o'clock today, so they got a late start. But he'll be home Sunday, so he's only in there for Friday night, Saturday night, and come home Sunday afternoon, well, before 12 on Sunday. So... Everything's going good, which is a plus. Um, totally better than expected. Um, like I said, he started physical therapy to actually learn how to walk, but he's kind of restrained. He's got a he's got a brace on. He's got a brace that goes around his belly, and then he's got a brace on his leg, and he can only move at 30 degrees. So he keep, he's back in the seat. He's like laying back can't sit up 90 degrees so he's going to be like that for like six weeks and then they'll actually move it to where he can maybe move 45 degrees not sure yet but we'll see the surgeon said yesterday that um, probably in so probably in three months that brace totally comes off and then he'll, he'll have full motion and everything so I'm, I'm not really sure it's kind of like case by case if you know what I'm saying not everyone heals the same same way not you know some people, people heal faster than others uh, so we'll see what happens but it seems like he heals up pretty quick um, so we did start physical therapy on Thursday which was yesterday and basically all they can concentrate on is him actually walking trying trying to walk the way he is with a walker and knee movement moving his knee getting his knee moving so right now he cannot actually fully extend his you know from his knee down to his foot he can't fully extend it and get it straight muscles are still tight so that's what they're going to focus on and I think him going through the chemotherapy they're only going to do it once a week but I'm going to work with him at home the best, the best I can 
is super appreciated. Uh, Logan get a fishing rod in there and a fishing reel and he wants that because, you know, hey, I'm going fishing after I get done with this. So this is what he tells me. This is what he's working towards, going fishing, which is good. He's got some, some kind of goals. And, uh, you know, there's just stuff in there for, you know, what he needs on a daily basis. The other sucky part about this brace is he can't take a shower. I don't think he's going to be able to <laughs> take a shower for, for three months. So, he's probably just wiping him down, giving him a sponge bath. There's nothing he can do. He can't, he, he can't physically stand up in the shower. And, and he has to have the brace on at all times. So it sucks. It absolutely sucks. So, hmm, just thought of something. Maybe I should give him another brace and he can have a shower brace and uh, could do that. So, um, other than that, everything's going better than expected. Like I said in the previous video, I'll give, just give you a brush up that when they did remove his femur, the actual tumor was attached to the femur, so they just took it out in one piece. And I was kind of like, because I didn't quite understand, you know, the whole concept of the actual cancer coming out of the bone. I didn't know if it was attached to the bone, entangled in muscle. I wasn't sure. It was kind of... I didn't really, really know, but I asked the surgeon on Wednesday, I'm like, hey, how did this actually come out of his body? So he said, once, once I got everything cut away from the tumor and the bone, it all comes out one shot, one piece, it all comes out in one. So that tumor was actually attached to the bone, it was a sack of fluid or something. After the surgery, I asked the surgeon, I'm like, hey, uh, you know, because I was interested, I, you know, I mean, as a normal person, you don't know what this stuff looks like. So I'm like, after the surgery, you know, we're in the, we're having a meeting with the surgeon after the surgery. I'm like, hey, uh, did you by chance take a picture of this thing? Because you don't know, you know, I mean, as a person that doesn't work in that field you don't know what it looks like you just hey it's cancer you know and it's a tumor what does it actually look like you know so and he said no and he kind of chuckled you know I'm just you know just interested I want to know but so that's kind of how it all came out of his body you know you guys want to know. I think that's it for this update. Um, we're just going to work on physical therapy, get the chemotherapy out of the way, and uh, he's in pretty good spirits, which is which is a good thing. He's been a long time coming. It's been very, very tiring.